Brayton Varsity, I'm Bethany Bowman, joined here today by Lewisburg linebacker in the class of 2025, Ashton Moore. Thank you so much, Ashton, for joining us. We're excited to have you on to talk a little bit about the upcoming season. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. A big sophomore year for you. You're coming off of a sophomore campaign with 114 tackles for your team, 12 tackles for loss, also some safeties and some fumble recoveries in there. Just a great year all around for you and the team that went eight and two and made it to the round of 16 in the class 4A playoffs. So, you know, talk about coming off of a year like that, some expectations, goals, and and how excited are you for this junior season? I'm super excited. We've got a lot of big goals this year. We lost a lot of, a lot of good seniors. I'm going to miss those guys a ton. We had 16 of them, but I still have a lot of high expectations for us. We got a lot of guys coming back. Our starting QB, Declan Battle, he's going to be a beast this year again. He was last year too. He's a heck of an athlete, and he's been working all off season. Um, we've got Wyatt Holland. He's a linebacker. He's going to be coming back with me too. He's a he's another senior. Him and Declan are, and he's just going to have a great year. I've got a lot of good expectations for this year. I think we're going to come back and have another great season and hopefully make it even farther in the playoffs this year. Okay. Well, you mentioned, you know, losing a lot of key and quality guys, but bringing a lot back, and you talked about a couple. But you mentioned Declan, starting there with the quarterback position. How nice is that to know that you have essentially the leader of the offense coming back for you guys? It's awesome because Declan, he's just gotten better each and every year. You can just see how much he's improved every year in it really motivates everybody around them to keep getting better and work towards having those great seasons. You have a great leader that's pushing us and he knows how to do it because he's done it three years now. So, and, you know, you put on a couple of the guys that we already know are going to be returning and have some big expectations for, but who are some other guys that might not be, you know, quite on the radar or on the list right now that you think this team should be excited about? We've got Conley Hovey. He's going to be a beast. He's six five, two thirty. He's going to be a DN and tight end for us. He's just a heck of an athlete and make a ton of plays for us this year. Um, another guy we've got, is Caden Kaplinger, he's coming back. He won, he won state football last, last two years, actually. He's just a super good athlete, going to play some receiver, probably some safety, stuff like that. Um, I feel like a guy that's not talked about a ton is Hunter Heinrich. He's played corner for us for the last three years and, He's just a super hard worker and a great athlete, and I'm excited to see what they can all do this year. A lot of talent from this Lewisburg team has gone on to play college football and at the Division One level. Just last season, you had you know a few guys go. I think they're at South Dakota State now. Um, there's one guy pretty close to you. Um, leave him off because we're going to talk specifically about him in a minute. But for these guys to be able to go in and, and go on to play college football, what does that say about the program at Lewisburg and the culture that you guys have built right now? Um, I think it just shows that Lewisburg's getting way up there on the radar and everything. And our coaches are really putting us out there and helping us develop and get to the level that we can put ourselves out there and be great athletes. And we've always had athletes at Lewisburg, but just nice to have those few big guys that really put everybody else on the radar and help us get up there. Mm -hmm. Like I mentioned, there's one guy that's really helping that cause for, you know, putting Lewisburg on the map. Your brother, Austin, at Kansas State, a former walk-on. He is such an impact player now for the Wildcats. What a cool story for him. You've got to, you know, experience it all, be there right there and, and watch it for him. Just how cool has his journey to the Division One, the FBS level, Talk about, you know, that for Austin. Uh, it's been awesome seeing him grow as a player and just being a great role model for me. He's always been the number one guy I've looked up to out of anybody my entire life. Um, he's always been there to teach me, help me, and just show me what to do, what's right, and like how to be a better person, not just an athlete, just a better person, and really help me develop in all of my life. Although you were only, you know, maybe elementary school, middle school, when his recruiting kind of started, what were some of those talks like? And why do you think that he decides to, you know, take that chance, bet on himself and go to K-State as a walk-on? Um, we really have some great parents that keep us motivated and always let us know how great of people, athletes, and whatever we're doing. Just They really motivate us and let us know. Um, uh, we can really just do anything that we want to. Anything we set our minds to, they're going to stick behind us and help us get there. Awesome. That's super cool. 
and you know, for you just going into your junior season, but having a role model like that and having somebody that's been through the process now that the recruiting is starting for you, what's that like? It's been awesome. Austin's always been there for me. He still is. He's helping me, guiding me through everything, show me what to look for in a team. And he's helped get everybody else on the radar on our team too. Like we talked about Jason Mack, really helped get them out there. Conley Helvey, he just got an offer from South Dakota too, South Dakota State. Um, you can just see how much it's impacted everybody. And I know you're just going into your junior year, but like how is recruiting for you right now? Um, it's going good. I've had quite a few schools talk to me this summer. I went on two visits to K-State, one in the spring and one just last week. Um, I've had quite a few other schools reach out to me, like Iowa State, North Dakota State. Southern Illinois, um, a few others, but it's been going good. Okay, awesome. Getting back to the season a little bit, the upcoming fall, what would you say ideally this team is going to look like if you've, you know, kind of talked with coaches, other teammates, and, and been working this summer? What can we expect to see on a Friday night from Lewisburg? Um, I think we're not the – we've got some big guys, but we're not going to be the biggest team. Not going to be anything like that, but we're just got a ton of hardworking guys that are going to fly around to the ball every play and just use their hard work that they put in all summer to go out there and make plays. Got a lot of smaller, fast guys. Got a big QB that can throw the ball. Um, got some good receivers to go up and make some plays for them. And on the defensive side of the ball, just a lot of a lot of hardworking guys back there that are going to fly around and really just use our speed and start hard work to make plays out there. Mm -hmm. Well, I think you guys lose about half your size on the team, losing Mason Dobbins, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's a big guy. For sure. I mean, who's a guy that you could see stepping up to maybe take on his role a little bit? Hunter Heinrich, he's going to be a good receiver for us this year. I already talked about him on the defensive side a little bit, but he played some receiver for us last year, too. He's got a lot of speed. And in the, in the open field, he's going to be a great player. Um, Caden Kaplinger, he's coming back at receiver again. He's a beast at receiver. He makes a ton of plays, especially in the biggest moments. Biggest moments, he's always out there making a big play. Last year, and the basically the Frontier League title, we need to beat Spring Hill, and we were down with a minute left. We drove down the field, hit Caden for the game winner, and so everybody knew when that ball was in the air to Caden, you can trust his hands, and he's always going to come down with it. Yeah, he's a really great pole vaulter, too. Yeah, yes. Yep. Back to back state champ. Absolutely. And then for you on the track, you were part of the four by one that is the school record holder, also league record holder, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, that was awesome. Getting out there and talked about Mason Dobbins. I was on the team with Caden Kaplinger. He was on that too. Forgot to mention him on that. He was our first runner. We had Mason. We had Mason, Caden, and Corey Wingfield. Um, I don't know if you know him, but he was a beast too. He graduated, but that was a lot of fun being out there with those guys. Okay. And uh, while we're on the topic of, you know, multiple other sports, you wrestle too, two times state qualifier yeah. now for Lewisburg. Why is it important to be a multi-sport athlete? Um, everybody, everybody in my family has just always kind of motivated me to, they really just told me about how important it is to be a multi-sport athlete. Cause that's what coaches are always looking for. Um, college coaches, if that's your goal, to get recruited and everything. They like to see those multi-sport athletes that can get it done in each and every sport. And for a long time, I had a hard time. I kind of disagreed with my parents sometimes. But these last few years, I really noticed, especially with Austin and his big games, he makes plays. And you have the announcers talking about his wrestling career and everything. And it really just kind of clicked in my head how important that actually was. How would you describe for football the Frontier League? Um, Frontier League's got a lot of a lot of talent all over the board. Eudora's got a lot of good guys. Earl Seaman, Adrian Seals, got a lot of speed on that team. Tongan Oxy, I know they're bringing a lot of guys back. Um, all the schools, they're looking good. But Payola's looking good, too. But we're just going to keep working hard, and I think we could have a good year out there. Well, we mentioned Austin, your brother. You also have a sister at KU uh, for track. Got a younger sister, too, coming up. Got to be an incoming freshman. Your dad was an athlete, played sports. But I understand your mom kind of gave you the more well-rounded side, gave you some uh, singing background. Yeah. Yeah, my mom, she's been the 
choir teacher for, I want to say, 12 years now. Um, she started at the at our elementary schools. She's worked her way up to the, this year she's actually teaching elementary, middle school, and high school. Wow. So she's going to be busy. But since I've been in first grade, she's had me in the school musical every single year, too. So okay. she keeps us busy with the singing side and everything else, too. Awesome. All right. Are uh, we going to maybe see you on America's Got Talent or anything like that? I don't know about that, but maybe Austin. Austin's a good singer. He is. But yeah, if I can get him out there, we'll see. All right. Good to know. And then for you, what else do you like to do in your free time? Or do you have any other hidden talents besides on the football field? Uh, I don't know about hidden talents like that, but during the summer, I just like to hang out with my friends a lot. I like to been playing a lot of pool basketball lately. It gets really competitive out there. I just got back from the lake with my family, had a great weekend, did a lot of fishing, just going out on the boat and having a good time, just doing a lot of lifting in the off season, and really just preparing for the football season is what I've been looking forward to the most. Okay. So, I mean, we know you can rack up a lot of tackles, such a key player for your team, but tell us what leads to being so effective, always being around the ball. It seems like you and Austin both just like always around the ball. How do you do that? Um, my dad's really just implanted it in me and Austin's head since we were young. But you always got to hustle to the ball, be around the ball, and that's when you're going to make big plays. It's been really helpful having Austin, growing up watching Austin and everything. He's taught me a ton about, about watching film and everything, just reading my keys, and that's helped me a ton. Just knowing where the play is going to go before it's even snapped makes it a lot easier. Definitely. Okay, well, we're really excited for the start of the season. You know, is there any one game or anything that you're really looking forward to? Uh, I'm just looking forward to the first right now, Rogers Heritage. Excited to get it started. Hopefully start out the season with a win. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Ashton, for joining us here today on the show. Really appreciate it. And best of luck to you and the Wildcats this season. Hope you have a great junior year. Thank you. Thank you for having me.